were talking to a monster magnet. So I got, I'm never going to work another day in my life. I'm way too busy power tripping. What's power tripping? Is that a lifestyle? Is uh, that... Yeah, it's kind of being all about yourself. Right. Delusional. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you're trying to buy time till the end, still thinking you're all right. Is that what you feel like you're doing? No. It works. I've been doing it for 20 years. <laughs> you guys, when you play, you look like you got like insane passion for music. This would have to be, you'd have to do this on some level for the rest of your life, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's in there, you know? Yeah. It, co it comes into some people when you're like 14 years old. Right. Some people outgrow it, some people just make it. Is that when own. you started? About 14 yeah, playing yeah. in a band and stuff like that? Or? Bands, yeah. just listening and just you just know. Right. You love it so much, you know? That's all I did was go to concerts and buy weed. Yeah. <laughs> you know? where, are you, where are you from? Where are you guys from? New Jersey. New Jersey. Uh, what part of Jersey? Where Town. Red Bank. Red Bank. Red Bank, okay, 109. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah that's right. that's band country, yeah, definitely. That's, I mean, you yeah, know. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of, there's lots of guys from around there. How long, are you guys on the road now constantly still, or, I mean? We um, do. Yeah. We try to go out at least three or four times a year. We try to spend four to six months, if, if possible. Wow. Um, out there, because it's, you know, more fun than real life, man. It's like, <laughs> that, well, that's for sure. Yeah. It's like being in the circus. <laughs> no, I know, I, I said, I the last time I worked was when I drove a cab and I was 26, and then I got, you know, enough money as a comic to not, you know, have to, you know, drive a cab. And right. I, it doesn't feel like work, it really doesn't, you know, but. Um... No, it's, it's its own different kind of hassle, but it sure beats working at the gas station. Oh, God. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, your first album, uh, your first, you released uh, tape, like a uh, demo in like 1989 yeah. or something like yeah. that. And you've had a bunch of incarnations of Monster Magnet, right? Yeah, people come, people go. How, how does that work? Why? It's, just, it's a weird life and not Get everybody, out. you know what I mean? It's like, in you come in, it's pretty intense. Yeah, I know it happens to, and, like, the who. I mean, you know, Yeah, it's when it's like, if anything, as, as soon as you get what you want, people, it's like eating too much or something. It's like, yeah, I got all the cake in the world. And then you eat all the cake, and then what happens? You either fall down dead, or at one point <laughs> yeah. or another, everybody freaks out. Yeah. Yeah, Some the, people the, don't make the, it. The yeah. road is, uh, like, you know, and I know it on a much smaller level with doing comedy. It, it takes people out, man, you know? Yeah. Uh, you, it's a lifestyle you got to be able to deal with. Like, you always read those books about the Rolling Stones, and uh, Ronnie Wood basically got the job because he was the only one who could kind of keep up with, the, with with Keith Richards. And the, the you know, Mick Taylor, like a great guitarist, he couldn't keep up with him anymore. He's like, I can't do this, I'm gonna die. Right. And some people do <laughs> die, you know? Yeah, and, and, yeah, many people do, you know, right. they die, or like even worse, they just go nuts and never come back. Yeah, man. you know, it's funny, you know, that's the, I was just reading another article about Sid Barrett, the guy from Pink Floyd. It's a scary story ever, you know, the guy, Got bad acid in like '68 and never left his house again. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> but uh, some guys just know how to do it. Uh, how, how much longer do you see you guys do it? I mean, you want to do this forever, or you just want to? You never. It never so the songs to... keep coming, right? I mean, you it, keep writing it never occurs to me to stop because it's it's fun. Right. You know? right. Making music. No, just that, making music. It's fun watching you guys play. It really is. Like I'd like to see you live because it's fun. It's it's inspirational. It's all it's all just unique too. Yeah. I mean, the the sound, your guys sound. It, it, it's every song is is so different, you know, and but cool. badass at, at the same time. Uh, yeah, the first you, one was way different than this one. I feel like I feel like you you guys have been around forever. I guess that was that's what I was getting to. You know, since 1989, you I've I've heard you've been omnipresent. You know, Monster Magnet has been there, uh, and and I wonder how you feel the industry has changed since you came in. To now. Oh God, it's insane, man! It's, right? it's crazy. Yeah. Probably just the same way it's changed for for guys like you. Um, How do you adapt? How do you have to adapt? Because you guys are still. I mean, you guys are yeah. still making the music. I mean, you're doing it old school. And you get a, a, in some a new school. A, but then you get some guy with a laptop in Sweden selling eighty thousand tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if there's some guy in a laptop just just giving the Monster Man album away down, like, go ahead, take yeah. it. That, that, go ahead. Yeah. That's gotta yeah. make you furious, man. Well, you know, it is what it is, but yeah. it's a different world now. It's like you gotta position. It kind of separates the men from the boys. Like, if you're into music, you're gonna make the music regardless. You keep playing, yeah, right. And so you're gonna do that, or you can do the other way, which is just screw the music, just make crappy music and sell a lot of merch, <laughs> which is yeah. big now. You know, that's a big thing. It's oh, like no, you know, I put don't... on some makeup and like, yeah, merch. That's yeah. all some people talk about. Even comics, merch. Yeah. That's a, every other word is merch. Out of it's a cruel world out there. 
How, how long have you guys been together, this particular group of guys? This, minus Chris here, is our latest member. Um, we've been together for what? Seven, eight years? Ten? Oh, you, ten. It's ten. All right, ten. Bob. See, I don't even remember. <laughs> ten, that's still a long been time. in the band that's for fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah. 15. That's, that's a while, man. When you hear the Stones are 50 years old, how do you react to something like that? You know, like, I mean, you basically have to make a trillion dollars, then you can do it. You know, but, yeah, I mean, if, if you have a lot of money, I mean, traveling is not the, an issue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, the so Stones everybody are Everybody else is just like a, a grunt. We're like grunts. <laughs> you know, it's like, get in the foxhole, man. And learn to love the dirt. Learn to love it. Oh, we love and, uh, it. Yeah, and we like the dirt. I mean, certain, you gotta like the dirt. Yeah, there's certain, there's certain let's say, there's certain perks Right. To being in a rock and roll band with stereotype really, really applies. I mean, it, sure. it outweighs any kind of lo uh, logic or common sense or morals. Right, you, right. You're pretty much free to be a maniac for a long time. <laughs> like, what are they going to say? He went crazy and filled up my girlfriend. Well, what the hell are you expecting? <laughs> uh, you know, no, or like, he doesn't, he doesn't, he sleeps till 12 and all he does is play that damn guitar. Well, <laughs> I'll take that. But you do. <laughs> you're 100 percent right. I, I've seen bands, some bands I've I've got to know over the If you're successful enough to make a living as a rock band, you live outside the rules of society. Well, a little bit, yeah. 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 It's, Somewhat, it's, yeah. yeah. Especially uh, you guys. I mean, the, you're kind of credited for stoner rock. You know, the the, the term stoner right, rock, right. I guess. I mean that's that's that means you can do whatever you want. Right. But uh, you got juice. Yeah. Who who else? I mean, what other bands do you guys uh, listen to? I mean, who who else do you think fits in with you guys, if anyone? And who else do you like? A lot of bands. There's a lot of good bands coming out in the last couple of years from Europe, as a matter of fact. So there's new Europe. stuff you guys like. Oh yeah. yeah there's yeah. this band called Cadaver from Germany. They're awesome. Man. It just sounds like Black Sabbath. You right. know, it's like. Um, real old school hard rock, yeah. not metal, but hard rock. Well, you can uh, tell that a lot of the older bands still sell out every show they do. So there's a real craving for you know real music still out there. It, yeah. It's out there. It's like it's in a weird place right now where there's a couple of generations that really missed it because it's not the old days. Definitely. But because of YouTube and because of the amazing reference yeah. capabilities of the internet, they're like looking back and going, wait, I think there was a a time that was better than this. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, so I just found this. It's like in you know, an archaeological dig. I found this time. Yeah. And, uh, and and I'm like maybe maybe we could do that too. And it's starting to happen. You watch in the next 10, 15 years, you'll see yeah, that's what I'm like. good little is, kids. Good doing. is good, you know. And Sabbath yeah. just sold like fifty million records, didn't they? Like they're from, yeah. the latest album. That's it ain't dead yet. It's, yeah. it's morphing, but it ain't dead yet. Well, uh, where can we see you guys next? You got anything you want to plug? Any gigs coming up? We're we're starting an American tour. Um, in November. Okay. And that's all across the USA. And the first date is November 14th in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Cool. And how do we find you on the internet? Uh, Facebook? You the, uh, yeah, you? Facebook. Just Monster Magnet. And follow you know, follow Google the directions. Official Monster, Monster Magnet headquarters. Facebook, the whole bit. Cool. Well, listen, guys, uh, if you ever get a chance, come back again, man. Yeah, open invite. Yeah. We appreciate it. And keep rocking. Be well out there. Thanks for uh, having us. Uh, thanks, thanks, guys. Man. Much luck. Uh, Monster Magnet. A great job. All right. That was great stuff. Now, now I'm going to show you why I live in the, in the rules of society. I'm doing a commercial. <laughs> DraftKings, well, this is DraftKings.com. If you weren't one of the people that won a bunch of money, one of the Artie Lang listeners, try to become one of them. DraftKings takes watching football to a whole new level. Now you can win instant cash every week, every game by playing fantasy football. Uh, one guy won 100 grand his very first time. That would get me off my ass. That's the figure. <laughs> yeah. 100 grand. Yeah. That, would get, that would make me do this. Uh, 100 grand day one. Right now, DraftKings is giving Artie Lang listeners up to $600 free. That's right. For every dollar you deposit, DraftKings will match it up to 600 bucks. That's $600 absolutely free. Free money. Free money. Hurry, this uh, amazing offer expires this Friday. Visit DraftKings.com now and enter promo code Artie, A R T I E, for up to 600 bucks free. Enter DraftKings.com. Enter Artie today at DraftKings.com for an even better result. DraftKings.com. And uh, we're back with Gino Bisconti, Morty Artie Lang Show. Thanks again to Monster Magnet. Back at these words. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.